There are so many resources out there. So, um, I, I mean, in general, there's ASCO, which is the the major oncology society. And I mean, if if you know, their their annual meeting is you know it's 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 overwhelming. Um, I, you know, I, I would say um, just you know talk to the doctors, go see a practice. Um, you know that'll get that'll really inform you. You know the most um, the resources. Oh, I mean there are there are some really good. Okay, you you could read the Emperor of All Maladies. It gives you a sense of 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 the history and and it's just well written. It's it's a good book. Um, and and then for psychiatry, I mean there are tons and tons of books out there on psychiatry that are just fascinating. Um, you know. But you know, you do want to. I mean, at the end of the day, you've got to get like you asked originally. You've got to get that sense of like a day in the life, you know, because when you choose your specialty, you know, it, you're gonna do one thing over and over again, <laughs> and mm -hmm. so you've got to kind of like whatever that thing is, you know. And so it just think about that as you, as you sort of go around. The other thing that I would say about oncology um, is that because oncology is a subspecialization of internal medicine, you're really first and foremost an internist. And so as you go along, you know, it, it can always be a little jarring when, when like a medical student is like, you know, I want to be an interventional cardiologist, you know, like, well, okay, but you've got to be an internist first, and then you're going to have a cardiology fellowship and then an interventional fellowship. Yeah. So, you know, you, you, you know, that that's something to kind of keep in mind also because obviously things change, you know, people say, well, I want to do that and it changes, you know? And so, um, yeah, just, you know, look towards the next thing. Um, you know, I would, I would, I guess that's what I'm trying to get at, you know, don't look at what that next piece is and think about what that is. You might say, well, I want to, you know, I want to be like Dr. McFarland. I want to, I want to do internal medicine. Like I, but just look at the next piece because then that, that will, you know, you know, just do that well and then just see where it goes and, you know, be open. I mean, I, yeah. I heard that a lot too. Just be open to whatever your experiences are. Um, and I, I would, that resonates with me. I would definitely, you know, pass that down. Just, you know, really just be open to the experiences. You just, you never, you just really never know. I've seen that over and over again, actually, folks who've gone into a field that they had no idea they were interested in and it just like hit them, you know, yeah. um, you know, and it's it's kind of random too, to be honest with you, because you know we have these experiences in in with our with fellow doctors and in training, and you know they they really can kind of dictate where you go, but it, sometimes it's just sort of happenstance, like you just were in a place where there were, you know, there just happened to be these really cool nephrologists, and you said, well, okay, I'm going to be a kidney doctor, you know, and you know, but generally when you do something and you, you sort of get gain confidence in it, you like it, you know, it, it sort of grows on you. And so there's that part too, a little bit like just take it easy. It'll, it'll work itself out.